What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Epic Gardening Channel. My name's Kevin. What are we looking at here? Well, if you've ever seen this stupid moth floating around your garden, it is a cabbage moth. This is the Pieris rapé, and this is the Pieris brassicae. Now, both of these are super annoying for any of your brassicas, and we're in fall right now, so that is most of the stuff that you're growing in the garden. So, how do we find and identify these? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to see if your plant is afflicted by this particular pest. And you can see by those little yellow dots, and we're gonna cut to a close-up right here. The little yellow dots are the eggs of the cabbage moth. It lays them, then they hatch, they become a caterpillar, they become a pupae, and then they become a moth and the cycle continues. There we can see a very tiny one. And so what I'm doing here is I am inspecting all of my plants to make sure that number one, it is the cabbage moth that I'm dealing with, and number two, how bad the problem is. So there's kale and there's cabbage in this video right here. Both of them have been hit pretty hard, and it's pretty obvious to me because when I walk out in the morning and I check these plants, I can see those stupid moths just floating around the garden. They don't have a care in the world. They don't care. They're just living life. Well, I don't want them to live life anymore. I want them to be gone. So the question is, how do we make that happen? Well, there are a lot of methods. The easiest method is to use this product right here. It's Monterey BT. Any type of BT will work. What it does is it tricks the caterpillars into thinking that they are no longer hungry. It infects them, it poisons them, and it kills their appetite. So effectively, they just starve themselves to death. They will still be alive. They will still walk and crawl around on your plants, but then they will starve themselves to death. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you coat the entire surface of your plant matter. So all of the leaf tissue, both on the top and the bottom side, especially the bottom side, because that is where most of the eggs are going to be, and that is where most of the caterpillars are going to hide. Another thing that's very, very important that I learned the hard way is that you need to make sure that you get into the crevice where the new growth is coming out for your plants. That is where some of these moths will deceptively lay their eggs and really try to sneak in some eggs there. That is the best way I know how to get rid of cabbage moths, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.